All right, let's see. Let's crack on with this. We've got the Barcelona pack here. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be going through the club packs. So in this video, I'm testing out the first club pack. We are testing out the Barcelona pack. All the players, throwing them in untrained, and then we're going to train them up a little bit. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts on the club pack because we are going to be discussing it later on in the live stream. Until then, I will talk to you in a bit. All right, we'll buy the Barca pack. Tomorrow we might get the Manchester United pack because we do have the coins. All right, let's see. Let's crack on with this. We've got the Barcelona pack here. And they're all the players that we get. We can download them now. Receive all. All right, let's go. Javi and other items. Lewandowski. De Jong. Gundogan. Koundé. Stegen, Pedri. I'm going to interested to see this Pedri, lads. I'm interested to see Gavi as well. Zhao, Zhao, Christensen, and Sergi. Okay, so that is it. Claimed rewards. We've got all of these. So Barcelona is going to be a plus one booster. The above player stats will be boosted. Increases experience points to midfielders. Gain during a match. 85 possession game. So it's kind of a seamless transition in here. So with our collective strength, with... Um, our collective strength with Xavi is going to be 2992, okay? With uh, Guardiola, it's going to be 2988. But the reason for that is because Xavi has the booster. You can see the players have gone yellow there. So you can see that the players' stats have been boosted. So you can see Neymar there. His stats are boosted. The ball control goes to 95. Vieira goes to 83. Ronaldinho goes to 93. Romario goes to 91, Foden goes to 93, Declan Rice goes to 84, Carlos is going to go to 81, so that's where the booster comes, and then obviously you have the manager boost overall, and you have the team playstyle uh, proficiency boost. So when I change that here, or I change it to long ball counter, you're going to have, you know, Romario at 67 overall. They'll still get the boost to the ball control, but the rest of their stats are going to be taken down, right? So it has to be set to the team play style that Xavi has. And you can, you know, check that by basically looking there at the team play style down the bottom right. So what do you think of that, lads? What do you honestly think of that? Do you think that that's a cool feature? Or what do you think? Felix? We will throw in... I'll have to take Pedri off. To bring him on. We will also throw in. Lads they're all getting boosters man. They, they, they all, they're all going boosters. Gavi. Can come in. Alright. Like I have better players man. I have better players here on the bench. That I'm going to be using. Or on my. Like leaving on the bench I should say. That I should be using. But. Listen, this is all a bit of crack testing things out, man, and see how they go. We'll boost up Ter Stegen as well. Why am I so slow in the, in the menu, man? Like somebody that's never played a football game before. All right, let's go, man. Let's go. We've already got pretty much every team that we could possibly want, every player that we could possibly want. No, I don't want it that high now. All right, we'll just do a rough Ter Stegen build and we'll get on and see. Look, I just want to test the gameplay, man. I'm not going to train up Lewandowski or Felix. I just want to see what they actually handle like. Or Pedri. I'm not going to fully train them up yet. We'll just crack on with the game straight off the rip. Lewandowski! Oh! 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 Ha <laughs> ha Oh, I turned him so easily there. Foden. Little finish. Oh, we'll get the rebound. It's a great save from Oliver Can, lads. Gavi is there. Really sharp. And it's fun. Like, I have no complaints about that. Like, look how smooth that gameplay was there. Look how smooth that was, lads. This movement here, look. This is really fluid. Pass to Lewandowski as my markup man, my target man. Out to Foden. Wait for the runners. Beautiful switch. R-trick, R-tree stick, flick. Wait for the run. 
into Gabby, wait for his defenders, it's through the gap of the defenders. Just get through this game now. Neymar! Oh no! For no! Come on, man! The leg! Oh, rinse him like last night's dishes! Rinse him like last night's dishes! Neymar! Cancelo! Very impressed with Cancelo, lads. All right, lads. So the big question with this, I suppose, is, is it worth it? Is this worth 1,500 coins? And the conversation is always going to go back to, you know, spending coins or spending real money to get packs like this, right? And that's obviously a completely separate conversation. But if you are interested in getting this pack, we have a couple of pros and cons here. I do think that the pack is slightly uh, concerning to see where they're going to go with it in the future. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Because it is only given a plus one booster to ball control. I mean, I know that plus one booster can be, you know, seen as a big thing. And it's like, yeah, but it's a 1500 coins pack. But on the flip side, if you are a starter player, and I've heard from a lot of newcomers thinking that this is a good idea that you get 11, you get a ready-made team. Possession game at the moment, in my personal opinion, is... Not the meta, but it's really fun to play with if you can control the play and if the connection is smooth. This is a great starter pack. It's not as good as some other packs. We'll get into reviews on that. But then you have the kind of couple of cons with the pros, right? So it is 1,500 coins. It is going to cost you money. There's no trainers, so you have to train up the players yourself manually. And there's no shortcuts in that really with these players. And at that, you're only going to get two to three endgame players. Plus, it's only plus one stat on ball control. Trust me, it's not going to make a huge difference. I know people will say, you know, that it's a silly mechanic and some people will love it. Um, but let me know your thoughts. I mean, obviously, anything microtransactional is always going to be controversial, especially if you feel like that it's too much. Some people won't have an issue with it. So it's always a personal thing whether you choose to spend money or not on a video game. That is completely up to you. But in terms of the pack itself, I mean, it's a good starter pack, but I would say that there are better packs in this, which we will get into in another video. So let me know your thoughts on that, lads. I'm interested to, interested to know your thoughts on that. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video.